hello welcome to take tube so today in this video we will show you how to download the mysql workbench server and we will also go through the how to create database and uh, so let's start first go to the web browser and your search for mysql download and uh, visit the first website and navigate to the download section and go with the mysql community gpl downloads here click on the mysql installer for windows and uh, see this is the latest version which is 8.0.39 and uh, for microsoft windows so here two installer are uh, first one is x86 32 bit and second one is this so we will go with the second one so click on this download button to download it and uh, you don't need to log in here so click on no thanks just start my download and the download process has begun so wait until it not downloaded so after downloading mysql workbench server we need to also uh, set up the environment variables and after that we will see with the help of command prompt we will verify the that this is downloaded or not and we will also see some examples like we will create databases through the command prompt so just wait for download download is completed so click on this installer and wait for a while it is setting up click on the yes button again click on the yes button here we will go with the custom and uh, click on the next button here we need a uh, three uh, first go with the mysql server then mysql server 8.0 and this is the latest uh, version and drag into this in which uh, products to be installed we will install three things first one is mysql server 8.0 second one is applications so mysql workbench drag into this installation uh, part 
and the third one is and last one mysql shell so these three things uh, we need to install and now click on this next button click on the execute button and now installation process has been started wait for some time until these three products has not been installed now these products are completed click on the next button click on the next button again here uh, you can see the port is 3306 and so this is okay go with the next button and this is a uh, use a strong password encryption so here you need to create a password of your own to remember this password and now click on the next button again click on the next button next and click on the execute button finally
please take some time and click on this finish button click on the next again click on the finish button and see the mysql mysql shell has been started here here you can verify so welcome to mysql work workbench here you can verify uh, the installation that is successfully installed or not mysql workbench server on your system so open the command prompt and from here verify the installation write the command that is mysql hyphen double hyphen and then version so see this is not showing yet because we have not set the environment variables that's why it is showing open the shell and here write my sql double hyphen version set the path so go to the c drive so this here is my sql workbench Okay, now you need to connect here so enter the password that you have created now click on this ok button and see the server has been started here right click on the command prompt run the administrator click on the yes button and now again verify the installation Okay, 
so you need to go to the C drive and again go to the program files and here you can see MySQL MySQL server 8.0 and here go to the bin folder and here copy the path from here from of the bin folder and now go to the environment variables click on this environment variables again double click on this path and click on this new button and here paste that path and click on this ok button again ok and again ok now verify the installation of opening the command prompt and write mysql double hyphen version and now you can see the installation has been completed now you can write a command mysql hyphen u hyphen root hyphen p u for username root and p for password now enter the password that you have created and hit the enter button and see welcome to the mysql monitor here you can run any command like uh, we want to create a database like create database vivek ok now so database so write the command so databases ok so uh, right command is create database and the database name then semicolon so the database has been created now write the command so databases again you need to insert the semicolon see so these are the default database information schema mysql performance schema and the sys and after that we have created this databases okay so as well as you can create table database rows columns like that so these are the steps that you need to follow you need to follow step by step procedures to download this mysql workbench server on your windows machine so i hope you understand uh, the steps to download this mysql workbench server so thanks for watching this video let's see in the next video with the new topic